Oh, hi guys, you're early. Well, how's it going? Tough times here with the old lockdown. Uh, me and the wife the other day were saying, what a shame, we didn't get a holiday this year. But we thought, okay, what can we do? Let, let's have a look at some old holiday videos. And uh, we found a great clip, actually. Uh, I want to share it with you guys. So we were on a safari in Africa a few years back, and we saw this cheetah chasing a gazelle. Um, I said to my wife, quick, get the camera out, video it. And I said, she said, oh my God, he's, that, that gazelle's had it. I said, no, I think he's going to make it. I, I think he's going to survive. She said, you must be joking. I said, okay, you want to bet? She said, fine, there's no chance. Listen, I tell you what, if that gazelle gets away, I'll let you sleep with my sister. Okay, so in today's video, guys, we're going to talk about five great fragrances that I think a lot of you probably don't know about. Let's get stuck into it. I'm going to flip the camera angle for this one and check them out. Okay, everybody, so let's have a look at five great fragrances you might not know. Before we do that, you might be interested to check out the link in the description where you can find out more about Gravitas Prom, the fragrance by my brand, Norton and Wilson. What a great year we had in 2020. Finally, at the end of it, we got a great boost by being voted or more mentioned by uh, Fragrantica editor Miguel Matos as his favourite discovery of 2020. I'll put a link to that article in the description. We're also very proud now to be available at Lucky Scent in the USA, which is a great accolade for us, one of the best online niche fragrance stores uh, in the United States there. So you might want to check that out. Also, don't forget I have a code for you guys, SMELLY10, that gives you 10% off everything except Gravitas Prom, which is available on their site too, at executiveshaving.co.uk. Great place to buy really, really well placed, priced, superb fragrances if you're in the UK or the EU, link in description. So let's get stuck into my list for this video, which is what you're really here for, I'm sure. Now, first one then, Givenchy Insensé Ultramarine. It is discontinued, but it seems to be still easy to get, hence I think it's okay. For me to include it I hope you will agree so this one is an absolutely great fruity aromatic sort of citrus aquatic fragrance I think I would call this one uh, it was released in 1994 a flanker to the original in from 1993 that's discontinued too but you really can't find that unless you're spending usually quite a bit on an, uh, eBay to find an old bottle this one Different, but similarly it is fresh and has some nice floral elements. Christian Matteo was the perfumer. I'll give you the note listing then. You've got blackcurrant, watermelon, bergamot, galbanum, iris, magnolia, mint, carnation, cardamom, sage, lily of the valley, vetiver and cedar. It's kind of like the juice colour would suggest. A beautiful Mediterranean sea colour there. Almost too blue to be true, but actually... Uh, I went to Sardinia once in Italy and it, the watercolour actually literally was that. It was so beautiful and they've kind of captured the, the feel of that in a fragrance here. So it's fresh. It does have nice citrusy bergamot. It also has fruity notes of watermelon and blackcurrant which give it this unique sort of almost sweet fruity element. Mint, just a sprig of that in there is always pleasant like a, freshy, a fresh mojito drink type vibe. Lovely, lovely fresh aquatic slight 90s vibe but you know very different to things that came out in a similar era like Aqua di Gio or Lodice less sharp than those and a bit more fun I think in some of the the notes I pick up there really really good stuff people compare this one actually maybe because they saw watermelon in the notes to Creed's Millicene Imperial there is a similar element in that it's fresh and citrusy yet sort of fruity and juicy and a little bit sweet at the same time they're not clones of each other but if you like that you're probably going to love this and the price really really great for this one I got mine for about 40 pounds you can find it on all beauty in the uk still so worth checking out in sonse ultramarine for a beautiful fun freshy i wear it all year round and always enjoy it don't forget if you'd like to join the smelly army private members club over on patreon there's a link in the description to do that it costs just two dollars a month and you get an extra video from me every week plus you get to watch everything i've already uploaded in there Moving on then, what have we got next? I'm doing these in no particular order. Let's do a great English brand now. This is Haeckel's. The fragrance name is Pegwell Bay, okay? Pegwell Bay by Haeckel's. So what's that all about? Pegwell Bay is a, a place here in the UK, actually in Kent, the county where I happen to live. And the bottle actually has coordinates on here, which is the coordinates for 
that place on the whatever longitude and latitude type stuff but that's not a very catchy title so the subtitle i think is pegwell bay and i think we shall call the fragrance pegwell bay that makes more sense doesn't it guys it's a real beautiful fresh fragrance it was first highlighted by daniel joy from the fragrance channel on youtube wafts from the loft great channel i'll give you the notes for this 2014 release celery seeds black pepper star anise bitter orange mint juniper berries lemon lavender bergamot buku or is it Bucus? I can't read my writing and I don't know what that is. Moving swiftly on, fur resin, guyac wood, vetiver and patchouli are £160 for a 100ml bottle. It comes in a nice box, a nice presentation. Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, kind of reasonably priced for niche in a way, but not that cheap for a brand some of you may not have heard of. So you've got to take a bit of a risk or get a sample uh, on this one before you try it, I guess. Really, really nice, fresh, aromatic, spicy, rich fragrance. It lasts really well. Uh, it has a real kind of by the seaside uh, herbs that you find by the seashore aura to me. I don't know why, but uh, perhaps because it is called Pegwell Bay, that's just jumped into my mind. The star anise gives it a twist of a kind of licorice-y thing. Uh, it's kind of peppery and spicy as well as having a lot of freshness. We get added non-citrus freshness from things like the mint and the juniper berries. And then in the base there are some resinous tones. There's a lovely vetiver dry down and a very kind of woody undertone. Very, very complex and really, really rewarding different fresh fragrance. A great masculine signature scent. Some people in Fragrantica actually compare it to Creed's Aventus. It's not a clone, it's not like Aventus, but it serves that same purpose of being fresh, yet woody, quite complicated, not just a simple, fresh, citrusy, eau de cologne style fragrance, but a freshy with oomph and complexity and real, real class. So Pegwell Bay from Haeckel's, definitely one to check out, guys, if you haven't already. I believe their worldwide shipping is a thing, and therefore you can get it if you're in the States or elsewhere. Let's see what's next. We're going to do this one next, Young Hearts by Bruno Acompora. So the perfumer for this one is the aforementioned Miguel Matos, and he is now a very... Uh, fast growing in reputation perfumer. He has his own fragrance line, Miguel Matos, and he also makes fragrances for brands such as these guys. So these are, you know, prestigious niche fragrance houses are letting this guy create perfumes for them. He really uh, seems to be getting a growing reputation. And from what I've smelled, it's entirely justified. And this is one of the real standouts that I've tried from this perfumer so far. Uh, so this 2019 release is a Sheepra fragrance officially, and I think it's 160 euros for your 100 ml bottle. I'll give you the note listing. It's pine, galbanum, bergamot, birch leaf, saffron, balsam fir, jasmine, rose, oak moss, patchouli, musk, and amber. It's a Sheepra fragrance, yes. It's got a classic vibe to an extent. It nods its hat maybe to fragrances of the past, but it's not like an old school fragrance. It doesn't smell like it's from the 70s or 80s. It's got that modern niche nuance to it that makes it very very different and unique it's a very artistic avant-garde fragrance i feel it's one of those ones that would win awards uh, things i think it did win an art and all faction award in fact didn't it yeah and it, yeah so that kind of fragrance that gets awards for being artistic but also smells super great so it's definitely green it's kind of got this foresty vibe it's woody and uh, but it's also got this incredible warming undertone and a smoothness about the fragrance that i really love which, which doesn't it means it's not dated smelling uh, I, I think of the wood ebony for some reason that's not a listed note I don't, I don't know if you can easily have an ebony note in fragrances I think I've seen it but it has this ebony kind of vibe a dark uh, really dark compressed uh, dense wood to this uh, undertone and I really really like that maybe even a hint of a dark rose as well with the slightly more green and mossy piney type of notes absolutely superb really smooth classy slightly old school Sheepra even if you like your fougeres, you'll probably like it, but it, it doesn't smell like an old, old school. It smells like a modern tribute to the olden days, and I guess that's what I tried to do with Gravitas, and this, while smelling completely different, has, has that in common. Stunning stuff, great perfumer. Okay, we've got a couple left for you guys, so let's see what we're gonna talk about next. It's gonna be this one, we're going back in time. 1982 saw the release of Trophy Lancome, pour le sport, it says there. So there was a, a golf tournament called the Lancome Trophy, and they gave us a fragrance to tie in with that lovely golf ball stopper on the top of this splash bottle. I absolutely love this stuff. I just picked it up this year. I have a little sprayer there because it's a splash. I had a mini which I've put in the sprayer. So if you like things like maybe Monsieur de Givenchy, YSL Perom from 1971, that kind of old school fragrance, citrusy, Chypre, fresh, masculine fragrances, you might really like this. The note listing 
for this one consists of lime, basil, amalfi, lemon, pettigrain, jasmine, bay leaf, lavender, oak moss, Virginia cedar, musk, patchouli, amber, tonka bean, and labdanum. Uh, really, really classic stuff then. A lovely, fresh, zesty opening. Lots of complexity. You get that real uh, natural, real oak moss undertone that makes you, this one you definitely know, this is an old fragrance. And of course, you can't use oak moss like in this uh, amount anymore in a fragrance. So you're getting something unique that you really can't find in a modern fragrance. Really, really classy, gentlemanly, fresh, green, sheep fragrance, all, almost with a kind of tartness and a resting quality. Not everyone might love it. Definite old school vibe, but in a fresh kind of way. Love the dry down with the real oak moss that hangs around on your skin and on your clothing. And just really rewarding if you like the kind of fragrances in this vein that I often rave about and recommend for you guys. And I, I really enjoy the bottle design, that's for sure. Okay, we have, I think, just one left to discuss here today. And that is going to be this one, Samphire from Laboratory Perfumes. And do you see what they did there? It's a laboratory-style bottle, which I really like. The, the camera's slipping down. This is not good. Um, let's see if we can adjust that. Okay. So, Laboratory Perfumes Samphire, absolutely superb stuff. Uh, it's a citrus fragrance. It's a citrus aromatic, I would say, and it's one of the best ones out there for the price, actually, because you can pick it up, 100ml bottle for £80, 2013 release, notes, juniper berry, citruses, rosemary, basil, lavender, vetiver, oak moss, and white amber, which I think just means ambergris, really. So it's, uh, if you like things like Dior's Eau Sauvage, a classic 1966 version, maybe the, the vintage one, I think it reminds me a little bit of that, but it's not a clone. It's citrusy, it's fresh, the lovely juniper berry note gives it this gin and tonic kind of vibe. The basil and the lavender, these herbal tones, the rosemary, give it this uh, aromatic stuff that makes it interesting. And in the base, the classic vetiver and ambergris kind of base notes really, really work well. A classic kind of vibe, again, without feeling dated. Unisex kind of stuff for me. Superb to spray on wearing a white shirt on a spring day or on a summer holiday, that kind of thing. Really, really nice. If you like things like Arolfa by Creed, if you like maybe even Creed Neroli Sauvage, I think you're going to love this one. Superb. Uh, we've talked about Gorse from this brand, which smells just like Virgin Island water. This no way is a clone of anything as far as I know, but it's an essential fragrance to try, I think, if you like fresh citrusy fragrances and you want one with actually quite decent performance for spring or summer so guys let me know what you thought about these have you tried any of these comment down below i'd be interested to hear your thoughts and anything else you'd like to comment on that would be lovely i'll see you in the next video remember whatever you're doing in life let's project Goodbye.